I'm Keon. Today I am replacing this motherboard uh, with a new Core 2 Duo motherboard and we're going to replace the power supply, the video card, uh, this motherboard and this processor as well as a hard drive. And uh, so this is what it looks like inside. As you can see it's really dirty in there. Uh, apparently uh, it overheats when we play World of Warcraft uh, and there's only a 40 gig hard drive uh, an older GeForce card in there it's a, it's a socket 478 P4 CPU and uh, so let's get started um, but first I need to take out the video cards this one and this wireless card uh, so I'm going to start doing that uh, now the video cards are out and I'm going to take out the motherboard now I'm now taking out the motherboard. Apparently, there's duct tape on the I/O plate, as the yeah, I/O plate. This is the old motherboard. You can see here. Uh, memory slot, video card slot, power connector, four-pin power connector, CPU and heatsink, um, PCI slots, I/O ports. I'm taking out the uh, hard drive. This is a 40 gig hard drive. And what are you going to replace it with? A 500 gigabyte SATA hard drive by Western Digital. We're basically just gutting this whole thing, except for the DVD ROM drive. So you're building pretty much a completely new computer. Yeah, pretty much. Dust out the case right now. And I'm putting in the brand new 500 gigabyte Western Digital hard drive, and this is going into the body. It'll sit just like that. What is that called? An IO shield plate. Input output. Yes. This is now going to be. That's a big fan. Yes. USB ports for I/O. Put this one in front. There's no media card reader, so I don't think. No. no that shouldn't get too hot. Wouldn't burn. I hope it doesn't burn it. So I'm just going to put that up like that. Brand new. Cable for SATA drive. It'll go in this one. Make sure that's in there. Installing the RAM. Make sure that's in there. Or it's not dual channel, so I'm going to put it in here. So when we put the new ones in, do we have to take these out or do we just add them to the other slots? You can add them to the other slots. If they're dual channel, mm -hmm. uh, just put it in channel one mm -hmm. or channel two, whichever one. Mm -hmm. How many watts is that? This one is a brand new power supply. I am putting in, plugging in the power supply. Pin plus four, so we'll need that because it's newer. Most newer cases, or motherboards will need the four plus pin on the, as long as that's in there. Cards, both of the cards will fit in the slots that they're already in. 
DVI to VGA dongle. It's a video card, 9500 GT. It has a bigger fan than your last one. Let's put that in. A slot cover for this right here. Okay. Set you always need to set the BIOS on a new system before you boot to the hard drive. Otherwise, it will not be set to the correct settings that you have, like RAM installed and the video card configuration and whatnot. Side of cable. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just got this all completed. This is what it looks like. Got the video card, the motherboard, the RAM, the hard drive, the CPU, the uh, power supply, and the drive, CD-ROM drive installed. And now it's complete. Now we're going to see if it works. It's on. It's running. We're in the BIOS right now. We're checking the specs of it, making sure everything's running all right. Uh, as you can see, it has five, five gigabytes of memory. What? Five thousand two hundred one hundred twenty megabytes of memory. That's so you have one gig in each stick of the big ones. Plus two. So that's four plus five. Which is these two? Yeah, plus the other two that was half. So it'll have X. It'll be a little too much for XP. Oh, so should we take some out? I'd read about it somewhere online first. Processor: 3.16 gigahertz. System bus: 1,333. It had a 2.4, is what it had. Check everything over. I'm just scanning through everything. It's reading the. Uh, Hard drive, 500.1 gigabytes, and the DVD ROM drive, which is in port 2. Video configuration, PCIe graphics, you want that. Mm -hmm. How fast the CPU fan is scanning? <clears throat> it looks pretty nice in there, 